these children were getting ready for lift-off into space this morning as they took part in dress rehearsals for their school's end-of-year production. The show follows a group of children who think museums are just full of old things that aren't important. But when they visit the museum at night, they soon find out learning about the past helps them to understand their future. Coordinating more than 450 pupils could be described as a logistical nightmare, but they operate in four big teams. There's a few props and some visual displays creating the environment, but it's the amazing costumes that help the children create the illusion. Right throughout the school, each team seems to be um, you know, blessed with having parents that are helpful, talented, you know, skilled people who have helped create things for the show. The production marks the end of a long school year and it's a time for everybody to celebrate. All the parents absolutely love having their children on the stage and, and at George Street we have as our one of our um, sort of vision is for children to be opportunities for them to shine and so this is a nice way to end the year with everyone having that opportunity to shine on the stage. And one pupil who loves to shine on stage is Elvis Nichols. He choreographed some of his own dance moves for the show and enjoys being on stage. It's a big pleasure when you get to see everyone smiling and stuff but um, it's really fun performing at, on stage because it's um, you get to show off and stuff and um, it's amazing here at the region performing. The show is based on themes the children have learned throughout the year and with less than a month's preparation, they're ready for the curtain call this Friday night at the Regent Theatre, when what happens at the museum at night will finally be revealed. Dee Karen, 39 Dunedin News.